With this AI framework, you can immediately start using OpenAI inside of your project. You can use here all of the OpenAI completion models, Dolly 3 and Dolly 2 image models, and also all the voices for text to speech. You can create whatever you like. Basically, there are no limits. If you've seen one of my previous videos, I created a wizard AI assistant, which is answering always in wizard manners. And to create something like this, I'm going to show you exactly what you need. First thing you need to do is to go to the public GitHub repository. It's Orkish AI Next.js framework. I'm going to put it in the description below. And you just clone this code on your local machine. I always use SSH. You can use whatever you like. And then you just need to run it. It's extremely easy. You just install all the dependencies and then run it on your local machine. And after that, you're going to need OpenAI API key. So for that one, you need to open an account on the platform.openai.com and there you go to API keys and here just create a new secret key for your project. In our case, we are going to create for the AI framework like this and we are creating a secret key and now we just copy this key and put it inside of our environment file. So when we copy this one, and as you can see here in the readme file, we have the environment file and inside the OpenAI API key, you just paste your newly created API key. That's it. And now immediately you're able to use the Orkish AI Next.js framework. So you can follow the guide from readme if you'd like, but I'm going to demo it for you now. So here we have our working Orkish AI Next.js framework and the first tab is the completion. Here we can ask OpenAI whatever we want. This is basically ChatGPT just inside of our Next.js application. So we can use GPT-4 model, for example, without the ChatGPT plus subscription. And we can say, just give me some nice Orkish war story in one paragraph like this and you can type command enter or control enter for automatic submit and now we are getting our story so it's using GPT-4 that's why it's a little bit slower than GPT-3.5 and we get here our story you can use this API in any way you can imagine. It doesn't need to be from an input. It can be something programmatically in the backend and you can get different things. For example, in one of my next videos, I'm planning to create a meal prep that you can like just click, give me a seven day keto diet, for example, and it just brings you back. So you can write these prompts inside the code behind. And next tab is image so this one is definitely the most fun part of Orkish AI Next.js framework so here we can ask for any image prompt that we want so we can say give me an orc eating or just like this orc eating an ice cream in the middle of the forest in photorealistic style and this one should be interesting so dolly 3 for me is the best image model right now because it really gives amazing images and all of the images that you've seen for example this one is also built with dolly 3 the logo for orkish AI and xjs framework and all the logos i built are from this one and Let's see our image. How does it look? It's interesting. <laughs> so this is our orc eating an ice cream. It's not really photorealistic. This is more like some cartoonish, but it's amazing with the details and everything. So that's the image model. And that one also can be used 
in some SAAS project for a lot of things. You can create icons, you can create logos, you can create, again, whatever you can imagine. And third one, text to speech. It speaks for itself. You can just write whatever you want. Hi, my name is Orc Dev. Like this video. And we get the voice output. Let me just put my volume up and listen now to this. Hi, my name is Orc Dev. Like this video. And you can choose whatever the voice you like. I think Alloy is the female voice and get the voice output. It's pretty fast as you can see. Hi, my name is Orc Dev. Like this video. And this one also can be used for a lot of things, for AI assistance or for anything, again, that you can think of. These are the three most important features from the Orkish AI Next.js framework. Other than that, there is also Next Auth in the behind, which you can just uncomment inside the header here, and you are going to be able to use it with the Google sign-in. Beside that, ShadCN is used for all the components. You probably recognize it here from the dropdowns and buttons. And also TRPC is used for the creation of all the routes. So if you go to the gpt.ts, here we see that we have three mutations, one for, for completion, one for image, and one for voice. And only thing left is to implement Stripe payment system and some kind of token system where users are going to be able to pay for the tokens in order to use this AI. I'd be more than happy to see that one of you builds some interesting project with this framework. Also, I'd like to hear some ideas what can I build in one of my next videos using this framework. I think this is a great starting point for creating your own AI project and it's completely free on my GitHub account. You can check the repository below. If you check it out, put a star on the project, let me know that you like it and that you are going to use it and I'm going to be happy. And for more cool projects like this that we're going to build together, subscribe to this channel.